a 23-year-old college student and fitness blogger who recently broke up with her clingy boyfriend returned to her car after shopping to find him waiting for her. She never expected that his sick plan for revenge would leave her screaming and blaring her car horn in an attempt to get help from bystanders as he locked the doors and did the unthinkable while onlookers just watched in horror. According to The Sun, Molly McLaren had been in a relationship with 25-year-old Joshua Stimson but recently ended it as she looked for a new beginning without the needy boyfriend. McLaren had reportedly made several complaints to the local police in regard to Stimson's creepy behavior prior the horrific incident which took place on Thursday, June 29, 2017, in Kent, England. That morning, McLaren posted a selfie of her morning cup of coffee with a message that read, powered by coffee. Fully enrolled, so it's time to switch the brain on today. Oh, anatomy how I've missed you. She included the hashtags hashtag positive vibes. Hashtag love yourself. Hashtag new journey. Hashtag confidence. And hashtag work hard. As she returned to her car at a local shopping center in Chatham. She found Stimson waiting for her with some very bad intentions. According to one eyewitness, McLaren was locked in her vehicle with Stimson and started blaring her horn and screaming for help, but it was too late. According to police, Stimson slit McLaren's throat and stabbed her to death in broad daylight as onlookers just watched in horror. During an interview with Express, Michelle Hextel described what she saw. The woman was screaming and bibbing the horn to get attention. I'm a bit shaken by what I've just seen. The attacker was leaning the bonnet of the police car in front. His hands were covered in blood up to his elbows. Blood on t-shirt, she said. Another shopper blocked the car in so he couldn't escape. The attacker was then put into a police van. Didn't appear to resist arrest. Hextel added. Ash Tucker. Another witness who was driving through the parking lot at the time of the incident said in a Facebook post, just pulling into Dockside Chatham, 10 police cars race past with flashing lights, as I've locked the door I hear shouting and commotion. The next bay opposite to me there's a man covered in blood being restrained by officers. He's cut a lady's throat as she sits in her car and he doesn't even look phased. According to Express, Stimson was charged with murder on Friday, June 30, 2017, at Medway Magistrates Court in Chatham, England. He remains in custody awaiting trial. The Kent Police Department has reported itself for an internal investigation due to the fact that the victim had previously filed complaints against Stimson, unfortunately, as we've seen around the world. A paper, such as a restraining order, does little to actually protect a victim from a scorned lover who wants nothing more than to do them harm, and when it's a smaller woman, trying to fight off a larger, male attacker, it's far from an even playing field. Luckily, in the US, our citizens have the great neutralizer at our disposal. Let Molly's story be a reminder of why it's so important to defend and exercise our Second Amendment rights in America. We will not allow our daughters, sisters, and mothers to be at a disadvantage to those who are intent on doing them harm. McLaren's death is a senseless and tragic loss at the hands of a deranged monster, and it should have been his own blood on his shirt rather than hers. Our prayers go out to her family and friends whose lives are changed forever as a result of this sickening act. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.